Hello YouTube, this is Project 1911 Colt Commander Upgrade Part 4. And Part 4 will be summarizing the installation and fitment of um, the, the Ed Brown drop-in competition grade uh, match grade barrel. And uh, the kit comes with a barrel. Um, and also, uh, it comes with this bushing. Um, so, it was, it's actually a very difficult process, but I lucked out because um, there were a couple of things that, that you know, um, allowed it to be installed fairly easily because it was, I didn't have to do much about it. So, the first thing I did was inspect the barrel and inspect the slide for fitment. Um, the first thing I looked at was the hood, which is this little piece here. And uh, that little piece has a, has a width and a depth, which has to fit into this, these dimensions. So what I did to check them is I used um, a caliper set, and I measured... Uh, the slide cut out as well as the hood dimensions and lo and behold they matched up beautifully there wasn't anything I really had to do with the hood the hood was was just perfect I think I just I, I just took a little bit of the edges off just to help it find its way uh, in and make it slide a little easier in case it was had a little bit of a maladjustment but actually there was no maladjustment it fit beautifully. So the se second thing is I checked the the uh, battery uh, lugs. So when the barrel goes into battery, these little lugs, these lugs here, match up with these lugs here, and they lock up and and and, and go into battery. So what that looks like is it fits in here like so. If you notice, <coughs> when it goes into battery, you'll see this drop in a little bit. See, it just, just drops in just a little bit. you got to pull down a little bit to get it to slide out. actually works better when this is installed. And so it goes in. And drops into battery. If you look at it from the top, you'll see it drops down and goes up into battery. <coughs> and so I wanted to check to make sure that it was going into battery properly. And um, there are suggestions that it should engage, the lug should engage approximately uh, 35 thousandths. So what I did was, as I I pulled it just out of battery like this, just pulled it down and moved it over just a little bit. Then I measured the distance between here and the barrel using my calipers like this. And then I put it into battery and held it, <coughs> excuse me, into battery. Measured again. I did this like three times, and lo and behold, I, I measured it somewhere between 31 thousandths and 38 thousandths, and uh, it fit, fit perfectly into the specifications of, of um, lug overlap. So um, I got lucky on those two items. That was the easy part of this. Um, it gets a little harder. So what happens when you try to fit the barrel and, and, and get put the slide on the on the frame, what will happen is you'll find that the slide will not come all the way forward because that lug, the bottom lug on the on the um, barrel does not allow allow it to move forward. So you have to trim it a little bit and to do that you trim it through this hole by using this tool here and uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about about how to use this tool to trim that that lower lug but basically what you're doing 
is your trimming. I'll get a little closer you can see. You're trimming this surface right here. It's actually both surfaces here and here. So when you put this this tool through that through this hole, you put the slide on the frame and then you, you run this through the hole. It has a little cutter right there. And that cutter will sh perfectly shape that. So what happens is you put that on there and you put it through the hole and you start spinning it and shaping and grinding it and you, and you keep pushing the slide forward until finally the slide finally the slide um, goes forward and forward and forward until and you keep grinding until your safety just works and then that point you're done and uh, like I said, there's video on this, so so check that out. Then um, what I did was I went and purchased a barrel link set, which has sizes zero through five, and they're all just a little different. And they they differ by the length of the hole um, in the link. Some uh, some are longer, and others are shorter. And so I I picked the correct one that just fit. This is the link installed. So the link just fit that hole that I that I drilled. You can see it just it fits it perfectly. And when I did that and put the slide in, um, lo and behold, it worked beautifully. And so to, let's just take a look, quick look at that. So I got the barrel in. Put that forward. Here comes my spring. Here comes the slide onto the frame. Well, I need one of those. There it is. There it is. Look at that. Fits beautifully. Fits very nice. That well, works too. So the final, the final fix was I did have to sand this uh, bushing a little bit because the slide was still sticking after I got that done just slightly sticking and I used uh, how I diagnose all this is I, I just use use some sharpie and I, I paint sharpie everywhere I think it's rubbing and then I put it together and, and, and work it and then you can see where the sharpie is rubbing off and you probably have some sort of a binding condition there so I do is just take a little sandpaper and and work it and until until I get it to, so the fitment's perfect. And also in this case, this this bushing was not turning properly. It was locking up here also when in battery like this. And so I I just sanded just a little bit around the top on the inside of that bushing, and then it be, was able to fit up and 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 work freely. So and that was all there was to that trigger job and or I mean the uh, uh, the match grade barrel installation and uh, that's all for this segment um, thank you for watching